Welcome back to another episode of Dollcraft Hardcore. Last time we went on a trip to the Nether and took down a fortress. There were some close calls, but we made it back with a couple dozen blades rods and enough wither skelly skulls to get us a beacon. We also found some villagers, so I set up a pumpkin and melon farm so we could start making some trades. In today's episode, we're going to put those villagers to use by setting up a breeder, an iron farm, and a trading hall. I want to take on a trial chamber next, so we're going to need a cartographer to help us find one. If all goes well, we might even knock out the trial chamber today as well. In case you didn't catch the last episode, I'll give you a quick look at the pumpkin and melon farm. These are pretty common, so I won't spend too much time going over it. This will help us get things going um, when we get our villagers to trade. We're going to get some farmers, of course. This will help us get some early emeralds. And uh, then eventually we'll get golden carrots from the farmers, too. Let's wait and see where our minecart is. There it is. Oh, I guess it didn't have any to pick up that round. But if you do, ha if it does pick up any melons or pumpkins while it's en route, um, this fence gate will pop out and hold the cart in place uh, until all of those items have been removed from the cart. And as soon as there are no items left in this hopper, it will release the, uh, the, the, yep, see, there you go, just like that. As soon as it empties out, it just releases back and then minecart keeps going. Uh, it's a pretty slick setup, super easy to do too. I also did redo the chicken setup slightly. Now we can throw our, our eggs here. Maybe I need to be aiming like straight on. Did somebody die? I think something died because I saw the smoke, po like the particles pop up. All right, this is how we collect our chickens now. So we got a bunch of chickens on there. We got a hopper feeding into this chest. And when chicken die, we'll get some extra raw chicken and feathers here. Um, and that only happens when there's like too many of them in there, then they, they die to mob cramping. Yeah, so I want to set up our villagers on this side of the river. Because I don't feel like transporting them over two rivers. Are you mad at me? You, your friend? You and me friend? You know, I push you around? Okay, that's cool. Alright, so I kind of need, like, a little bit of a longer stretch here. Maybe down here? Like, along the shore here? This could work. Basically, there'll be mine carts coming down and then dropping back into these spots, right? This will be like a powered rail setup. We'll have like a button or a lever or something here. Same thing here, but we can trade with villagers and these spots until we get the trades that we want from them. All right, now we're ready to move some villagers in. Oh, hey, look, we got one of them out and about. Aren't you excited? Come on, dude. You didn't want to do this? And let's do the hitboxes. Yeah, you want this, don't you? Wait, where are you going, dude? You see that? You see that over there? Are you serious, dude? Now 
Now he's going in. Oh yeah. Hey buddy. All right, so now you and your new friend get to hang out forever. Let's give them some time to get to know each other. Got a baby? It sounds like we're to get a baby. Yes, we do. Our first baby. Now we can start setting up for our iron farm. Let's clear an area for the build. This is a different build than what I've done in the last couple of worlds. I've never actually built this type of iron farm before, but let's see how it goes. That's pretty easy. We need to sleep now. This guy should be fine. If he dies, I'm gonna cry. Still good? Okay, so with the exception of like maybe expanding the the area where people can't spawn. I think this is pretty much there. Now we need to clear out some space for the trading hall. Let's see here. We'll do cavil. We'll just we'll figure out an outline. We'll we'll go from there. Can I help you? Get out of here. such a high ceiling on the inside. I like it. Give these guys some hope. Well, let's roll on our first dude so we can get our first farmer. Got some attitude, buddy. Is it not the right time of day? Are you on siesta? Okay. So he wants potatoes. He'll buy or he'll sell bread. We got to get to level two to see if we can get pumpkins. All right. So melons, pumpkins. I don't even have enough for my inventory for him. We got inner chest though. Chicken attack. Chicken attack. What you want back before it face to play? Then I look down, that's about them. Come on, chicken ass. Go chicken go. Go chicken go. Now go to 